Okay, let's just focus. We'll talk about the market if we have time. We're done today. It's not crazy loud. I honestly thought the market would hold yesterday, and when it didn't, and I saw how it closed, I thought, wow, today's a very significant day for the market because it really has to hold today. If not, we could have a significant drop. I don't know why we fell yesterday. It doesn't matter. We should have held. We didn't. Maybe the market's tired of rallying, but we had a big fall yesterday in a place we should have held, and we gapped up. So if we don't hold today, we could drop for a few days. So I have Nike up as the main one, Shield here in the middle. It's really a tie. we put the shield up in the main one. Now let's put shield up for the main one, Nike in the middle. Sorry, I know I'm changing my mind a lot here, but they rate the same. Okay, you're just gonna have to pay attention to me today. And it's going to be very noisy because it's been noisy all morning. Now I have Shield up as the main one. Nike in the middle. I honestly don't know which one I'm doing. They both rate the same. I like them both. You could do them both. I may quick have to flip, so just pay attention here. Good volume in both. Oop, and I just saw an invisible tick in that one. Hmm. So I have Nike in the middle, Shield is the main one. If I flip to the other one, I'll flip it. You just gotta pay attention here today, people. Be on your game. But we might have the market with us. I don't know, we'll have to see how it opens. But I didn't expect us to fall the way we did yesterday. I just flipped to Nike. Okay, I just flipped to Nike. No one should be in anything yet though. Let's just see. Okay, I'm watching Nike first now. It's just fine. 5510 will be the stop. I don't have the entry yet. Let's do 40, oh crap. No, it already went, it went. I didn't even get a chance to call it. Gosh darn it, it, it broke. It broke before I even had a chance to call it. Just wait, just wait and let it back up. I'm not in this. I didn't even get a chance to call it. Let this back up a little bit. Let's see what happens here with Nike. I didn't call it and I didn't do it. Crap, it's gonna go. Gosh darn it! It went, it went, it's going, it's going, and it broke so fast I couldn't even size myself or call it. Here it goes. Wow. Let's wait for another entry. I didn't get the first one. That never happens. Wow. That 
is crazy. Let's see if we can get another entry. Shield is flipping for now. Wow, is that really weird? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, Nike. Let's do 39 by 90. 39 by 90, Nike. 39 by 90, Nike. Take it. Take it right now. Get it. Put this up in 90. 90, 90. This is not a kamikaze. We're just trying to get in it. 90 is a stop. Take it. Take it right now. Put the stop at 90. Let's see if this works. You can be in it right now. Let me just look at something. It's just falling, falling, falling. Yep. Okay. Let's see what happens. See if it holds. If it doesn't, we can look at retaking it. I don't have the stop over the high. Be in it if you want it, though. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep, this is still going to work. All right, and, but the stop isn't going to be any less. I'm going to give another entry if you didn't do it. 30, 33 by 90. 33 by 90, Nike, if you didn't get that. Some of you did this in here. I have no idea how. I have no idea how you did it because I didn't even have time to size myself or do it or even call it. Here, 33 by 90. I'm already in this, and we'll see what happens. It's a little wild. I thought it was just going to collapse, and then I decided to do it. Here, 33 by ni uh, 90. This is a Nike. I'm not looking at the other one. Yep, this is going to work. <sighs> this is very, very wild here today. Much, 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 much wilder than I thought. Here, Nike. You can take it 39 by 90. Thirty-nine by ninety. Nike's valid if you want it. I'm already in it. I wouldn't take any more unless you want to get nuts. It's gonna work. Here, Nike. All right, let's here, 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 here. Target, 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 target. It's fifty-four dollars for the first one, but I don't really think it bounces there. Let me just look at the market quickly. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Shield is trying to set up, but it looks really weird. And let's just stay with this one. Here, Nike. Wow. Here, Nike. Did everybody get it? We'll go over it when we're done. We have to pay attention here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to have to get out of half at 54 in case it bounces. Because I don't, I don't really know what the market does. Broke the low by only by a couple of pennies. Let's see. Alpha got in. It's fifty four seventy and out at fifty four thirty. I don't know how you did that. It would have been impossible. You would have had to just press it, and not even size yourself. I mean, and you know I'm in the ball, but we're trying to get a move in this. gonna go work all right who's in it with me who's in it who's out of it who's doing what alpha's on a trial he took it and got out he didn't do the class but he saw my call that i like the gap what is everybody doing dubaz is in it pyro's in it did anybody else get in and get out it did bounce in there but i don't think it holds holds the low meaning <clears throat> Anna's in it. Journey Woman's in it. Time of the day is 9.36. Rumi got in and out too already. All right. Gator's still in it, which sounds impossible because Gator sc uh, scalps everything. Almost don't believe you. K 
Okay, here we go. We're waiting, waiting, waiting for one more drop through because once it pushes and breaks low, it should collapse. We're holding on. We're holding on and we're escaping the noise for a few, few minutes here while we trade. Luckily here, come on. We gotta get under 45. Galahad's in it with an ad where there was no stop reduction. If you took more, then you just risked more in the trade. I'm not sure if that's in your plan. The stop is not reduced. Got to get under 35. Interesting here. Why? Quickly, somebody tell me. Why is this an interesting look to the way that the stock is trading right now? While we're in it, while we're watching it. Some of you took it and got quickly out. Why is this interesting here? Galahad risked more. No buying? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that at all. No. Why is it interesting? Somebody, anybody. And make sure your stop's in. It's holding the one minute. I don't, I don't know what you mean. It's not holding. It's not holding this. It's rallying right now. I think it's one of the reasons I didn't put the stop over the high, but. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. <gasps> oh, my Lanta. I'm still in it. I, 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 I am still in it. I thought it hit it there now, but I, I'm still in it. You know what? Let's move it up a little. That was too close for comfort. Let's put it at 95. 95. 95. Move it quick. Quick put it at 95. Five more pennies isn't going to kill us. Wow, we held it within a, a penny. Put it up to five cents more, though. That's it. Just caught my breath. I thought I was going to get taken out. Put it in 95. Okay. Second entry, if you want it. 64 by 95, 64 by 95 Nike, and put the stop at 95. If that hits, this should collapse. But if it doesn't, we're going to get stopped out. It's retesting the high. I guess we're going to find out. I would never have gotten out of this for this bounce in here, but I guess we're going to find out. I can't look at anything else right now. We're right at the cusp of this. And I don't think I can do anything else today. I just, I really like this and I like the other one and the other one didn't set up the way I wanted either. So if we take a stop on this, we do, but I still think it's gonna work. I guess we're gonna find out. 941. Rashad, I can't talk about anything that's teaching while we're in this right now. It's too crazy. I'll go back and look at your question when, when we're done. Either here. I gotta focus on what I'm doing right now, people. Come on, Nike! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard. This is so tempting to take more. Maybe we need the drilling for good luck. Here, drill, drill, here, Nike, it's going. You could take more, I didn't, but there it goes. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're through the woods. Hold on, let me look at the market. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my Lanta. Here, Nike, who killed it? 
All right, the five minute has to set up. Oh my gosh, this is really gonna work. Here, this is really gonna be a good lesson once we get done. Let it break 60 though, still has to do that. All right, I'm gonna be quiet, I'm jinxing us. Yeah, it didn't take more in there, but you could have. That was a valid ad. The five minutes one, too. It's more confirmed. It didn't hit yet. It's 9.43, and the stop's now 95, and even if you kept it at 90, you're still in it. Mark is showing no directional bias. Like he had one quick down move, bounced, bounced. Didn't get out. No, out, I'm out. No, nope, out, I'm taking a stop. Gosh darn it, it looks so good. Um, crap. No, out, out with a loss. And some of you got out with a profit, but I, I didn't. Um, this, I don't, I, don't, I don't like the way it's set up. This did rally up and actually looks like it's gonna break, but I didn't do it. And you can't redo Nike, this really sucks. Well, let me just see if it, if it held the high. I don't think it did though. Oh, man, I know this is still gonna work. Let's just sit here and watch it for a little bit more. No, I'm out. I'm out with a stop and I wasn't gonna do anything else. But I still know Nike's gonna work, but I've been back and forth with this all year about whether or not I wanna do two trades and the same thing again. And I can't make up my mind and that's why I haven't increased my risk. I know this is gonna work though. Is anyone still in it? If you had to stop at 95 with me, you're out. And you're out with a loss. I still think it works, so I'm not sure if I'm going to redo it. Is is anyone still in it? Journey Woman has it at fifty five ten, and she's still in it. Wow. Let's just see what the five minute would be. <laughs> Five minute would be a fifty cent stop. Gator still in it. Dubods is out. Rumi got back in it. Oh. Okay, let me just think here a little bit. I'm, I'm not back in it, and I'm not saying I'm going to redo it. It's done if it goes over 55. Let's just let's just watch it. Yeah, I really think it still works. All right, I'm I'm going to get it's only Wednesday. I'm going to take it again. And we made money yesterday. If it hits in the 5 minute, I am going to do it. It's gonna be 59 by 10. And, and I don't know if it's gonna hit people. If it does, I'm gonna take it. And if you don't wanna do a second trade, don't do it. I think if it does, it breaks alone, and goes to 54. But if it rallies over 55, then the trade is off. 
So 59 by 5510 is the second entry. And if you took the first trade with me and didn't get out of any, which I didn't, you took the stop. So you'd be taking two trades. If you don't hear anything, I can't sign out and sign back in. And you probably can't hear me talking if you can't hear anything. <laughs> I can't write anything because I'm trying to get ready to do this. Fifty nine by fifty five ten if it hits. Don't do it if you don't want to. And Galahad, I'm not sure why you took such a heavy position in this. Fifty nine by ten is valid Nike. Market is trying so desperately to actually recover and we didn't miss anything on shield so I'm focusing on Nike if this hits I'm gonna do it for a retake with a stop in the first try and if it goes over 55 the whole trade is off and I'll have to stop for the day And then we're going to go over it. No matter what this does, there's a lot to learn here today in this scat. But let's just wait and see what it does here. And if you never killed the first trade, stop does have to be 5510. not back in it yet. This has got to hit on the higher time frame. It's got to hit on the 5, and the longer it takes, it's going to have to hit in the 15. It's just got to be so patient. Shield didn't go anywhere. Caught in a crappy area and didn't really go anywhere, and I don't know if this breaks. Let's look at Target today. Wow, Target is at 53-something. Jeez. I could have called a second option trade in that. Look at that. Target's just going, Target's going straight to hell. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> Target looks like what I wish Nike would look like right now. All right, here, we're still on top of this. <laughs> All right, let's get a, something a little bit more situated here. 75 by 10. A little bit better. 75 by 10, Nike, but nowhere near hitting yet. Either you're in the original one with the stop at 55, 10, or you're waiting like me to retake it, and you took the stop. And if this goes over 55, it's all off. <sighs> Come on.
just waiting. I don't want to talk or teach or do anything right now because I might want to retake this. So we just have to wait. I'm not giving up on the day yet. Shield is off though. This opened at 76. Okay, 75 by 55 Nike. Retake, second trade, don't do it if you don't want to. I'm not jumping the gun on this either. Seventy-five. Yeah, this is really hard today. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes you got to dig your heels in. It's a decent stop here if this goes, and it goes to the whole number, though, I'll tell you that. 75. Nope, not yet. No one should be back in this yet unless you took the original trade. Do not get back in this yet. It has not triggered. Still waiting for 75. I'm not doing that five minute break. I'll tell you, it's, it's, this is a, I, I just don't want to get too much into the conversation here, but this is a, this is definitely lower. What, whatever it does today, it is because it wants to go, or it would be at 56 by now. It's very interesting. Uh, there are state traders that are trying to buy this into support, but it is being held down by institutional money. Whether the resistance level halts here at 55 or ends up being a number above it, it's definitely being held, it's definitely being held down. So the, the difference in the number, whether it's 55 or 56 something is, is yet to be seen, which is why I'm not back in it, but the stock wants to break. But the later the day gets, you have to wait for the higher and higher time frame. So I didn't, I didn't get back in it yet, but I still think this is lower. It may be today or it may not be till tomorrow, but I'd like it to be today. So 75 by 10 is still valid. Here, Nike. It's flirting with that number. Oh my gosh, this is going to work. Wow. I, I'm definitely going to retake it. I'm definitely going to retake it, and we're going to go over this when we're done, and I do think it hits. Here, get it right now. Take it. Get the stop in, 55-10. That's it. That's it. 
This is gonna work. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Let's just see if we should give it any tighter. No. Give it 55-10. Oh my gosh, is this hard. It's really gonna roll over now. Here, let's talk about it. Be back in it if you want it. We're getting a prize award today. This should roll over $10 for us just because it was so hard. I mean, look at the market here. Market is not, not falling, not rallying. The market is resting. Resting after a big move yesterday, which we'll go over. We have time. If we don't, we don't. Here, Nike. Very hard. So hard. Why? Well, I took a stop on the first train. Some people got out here. I didn't. I, I, I mean, you could have gotten out here when it didn't break. I didn't do it. I kept saying, I know this is going to work. I know this is going to work. I know this is going to work. Nike. Hard, though. Hard to go back into something the later it gets, but it's still reset up again before 10 o'clock. Here, look. 40 cents from the low. Who's back in it? Galahad, I'm not sure why you took more risk in this. It was not a gap that I said, blah, 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 blah. I'm in love with it. I said, I like it. It's a good gap. I wouldn't take double, double, triple, quadruple risk on something unless it's an amazing gap, which I didn't say about this. We rated it. It rated the same as anything. She'll rate it good, but it didn't set up right. Traded weird and not enough volume and I just turned my Pandora on for some reason <laughs> hold on I have Halloween sounds on I don't know I didn't mean to do that <laughs> hold on I just moved my phone and now I press zombie invasions <laughs> maybe that's why uh, that's because of Nike Nike is like a zombie invasion here <laughs> I just moved my phone so I could clean my glasses and, and it turned on the Pandora all right, let's go over it. It's going to work now. You're safe. There's no chance of it flipping, but it was touch and go there. Woo! All right, let's review it. Here, what happened? Uh, somebody was asking about something about rounded bottoms or I don't know, something, something, something. Uh, rounded bottom. I don't trade based on rounded bottoms. I don't know what strategy that is, but I don't trade based on that. Here we go, Nike. I'm trading based on a gap. Based on the gap. The gap rated good. The gap was a short. It sucked that we got stopped out of this, but actually we really probably should have had to stop over the high. When it fell so hard here, I was trying to inch my way in. Maybe that was my own fault. Got stopped out and it held five cents from there and I don't know, you know. I, I was trying to inch my way in and then this looked like it was gonna collapse. It looked like it was gonna collapse. I should have put the stop over the high from the original entry, but I didn't get this here. I didn't get it there. I didn't get it. And then I was trying to get a better, a better position. It didn't pan out. I ended up taking the stop. I could have lifted it, but then once it goes and goes, you say to yourself, I'll just retake it, or maybe I stop, or maybe it's not going to work. And anyways, I, I'm glad that I stayed on top of it. And some days you got to dig your heels into the sand and you say, I believe it's going to work. It did hold the high. That's not why I retook it, although that does help the conviction level, but... It's the gap, really, that made me want to do it. And I understand that traders, day traders, are buying this for a gap fill to fill this area here of this space, which is absolutely no strategy at all, makes no sense. It is not going to happen. And here, Nike, very hard, though, because it sucks when you have people pushing it up, but they're not controlling the stock. The people that are controlling the stock are the people that created the gap and made the gap and are pushing the gap down, and it's holding. And here, it just triggered in the 15-minute. This is it. This is where you would add if you wanted to in the 15 minute. If you really wanted to get heavier now because you got the confirmation and it is 10 o'clock and it's going. And I don't know where the market goes today because it's not green, but it's not full red. And I think maybe the market doesn't go anywhere today because of the move it had yesterday. But it'll be interesting to see where it goes in tomorrow. Nike's a short and it should have a big move now through the low when it goes down there, which is what I wanted to happen this morning. Oh, I'm glad I retook it. Better, better stop though. We're going to get pink because it was a much, much better stop. Only 35 cents. Whereas earlier today was much, much larger. Almost twice the size. Here's the target, 54. If this breaks this, it has nowhere to go but down. Wow, this is really going to work? Here, Nike. If it gets down to the low though and bounces, you could get all out. You could get all out and have a positive day. You get out of half. I was originally going to get out of half here if it bounced to 54, but it didn't do it. Anyways, I don't trade based on the way a one-minute chart is trading Rashad here. I'm trading the gap itself. I look at the one-minute, but I allow the gap to tell me where I'm taking the trade. 
So this is what I'm reading. And if I had one chart to trade on, it would be the daily chart, not this. I take entries on here, but I don't shy away from doing a gap because it does this rounded bottom here or fat lady's butt or whatever you want to call it. It wouldn't keep me out of a trade and it didn't. I retook it up in here in the scoop. This is a way that day traders look to do something. When they think something's in a, in a one minute uptrend, they will buy it. But that's not anything about the stock. This is only trading here for 10 minutes. You don't read what the directional bias is of a stock based on 10 minutes of trading into the open. I'm reading it based on the gap. And this is gonna work and it's working right now, Nike. Wow, what a hard day we had today. <sighs> yep, we're doing it. Did anyone not retake it? Did anyone not retake it at all? Who did it? Who didn't do it? Journeywoman stayed with it with a stop at 55.10. That was great. That was a great job. You'll make more money than anyone today. Here, Nike. Dubois got back in it. Good. Big Fudge took it again. Gator still in it. You got to wait now for all the people that bought this, all the day traders that went along this, thinking it would fill the gap to, to get stopped out, which will be around 54 30, 54, 25 ish in the low. So you could scalp a little bit out here if you want to make yourself safe or you wait till those people get stopped. The stock went from red to green to red on the day. That's a good sign. Good sign for us if you're short. We don't get any help from the market today. I need the directional bias. What did FDX do? Let's look. I bet it didn't go anywhere. No, it didn't. Here, hold on. Anna's still in the original trade, okay? Yeah, so you look so hard here. Remember I said I thought FDX would gap up. I saw it last night. Not enough. Not enough. Just not enough. Not enough, and without the help of the market, can't get going. But I was right, it did gap up. Didn't do any options trades in it, though. I should have should have looked what they cost. This had a little bit of a movie move in this here, but it still looks weird. Um, what was the one from yesterday? I can't think. What did we do? CSIQ. Um, this went to the dream target. Fell today again. Can you believe that? Did anyone hold it to $12? I got out of this too early yesterday. Trying to get back in a groove. Look, 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 look. Did anyone hold this down to $12 a dream target yesterday? It worked and it's still going today. CSIQ. Unbelievable. I tried to, I just, I really, because of the placement of this in here, I wanted, I wanted this to not go over this level. And then it touched it. And then we were still in it. And then it did. I should have put the stop up here from the start where I originally said, I just, mm. oh well. You won't make money? How will you not make money? Your entry was 54.29. You won't make money if it goes to the low? You will be in the red? First of all, you will not lose. But if it goes to the low here, it will break it. So you will make money. But if it goes to the low, you, you will be up a couple pennies. You won't be red. No, you won't be down. If it goes to the low, Journey Woman, because of your entry price, you will not. Actually, this brings up a great point. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it right here. Let's just talk about it right here, right now. This is a good point. This is a great point, actually. I had no idea what your, what your fill was. But let's talk about it. So... Some of the people did this. I didn't do it. I didn't even call it in time. If I had done it in here around 50 years, so I still wouldn't have gotten out. I wouldn't have gotten out. So I wouldn't have gotten out, and that would have been that. But if I had done this, I would have had to stop here. So, but I didn't. Anyway, some people did it, and they got out. Anyways, then I rallied back, and I did it here. We held through in here. We got stopped in here, but it wasn't a crazy blowout. It retested the high. So the people that took it over here kept, kept the stop at 55.10 stayed with it. 
which was good. And then I thought, oh gosh, I know this is gonna work because of the gap. Anyways, waited, 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 retook it in the five minute. Anyways, we're back into it here with the confirmation. And now we have the stop at, at the original place, 55.10. But journey woman's point is valid. If you took this and held through it, your price is down here. If you took it here at 70, in the 70s, if you took it in here, your price is in the high high 20s. If you took it in here, your price is in the 70s. So it's it's almost a wash because you'll make up the one R difference in here by the time it drops back down. Whereas if you're back down in here, you didn't take the one R loss, but you're break even. So it's it's half a dozen one and the other. In other words, what it means is if you didn't suffer through the stop and you retook it where I did, you're gonna end up you're gonna end up the same. Does that make sense? So it was okay if you took the stop, which is exactly what I did. And you don't know if it's going to work or not, except for now you do. It is going to work. There's no place to move the stop now. There's no place to move the stop now. You can't move it unless you want to be so, so tight to put it at break even, whatever your fill was. But it may not, that may not hold. That may not hold. The stop has to be 55.10 and should have been originally, but you're going to not fare any worse worse if you got took the full stop and now are we back in it why because you're up almost one r in here now again i mean you could just when it goes to break even for you kill it and get out break even but that's not the reason we trade we trade to make money and i didn't retake this for that purpose i believe if this goes down to the low it will fall and collapse the stock can move it has hardly moved on the day if you look at a normal stock then this hasn't even moved a dollar i mean seriously you know, Nike moves on normal big days, two bucks or more. This hasn't even moved one dollar today. And there are people that are along this, and they shouldn't be. They should not be, but there are. And when then they get stopped out, then we're going to get the selling action when the longs sell, and we will get the red following through. And if you redo this here with me now, you're back up already. But we're trying to get some money in this. But Journey Woman's point is valid. If you took the stop and took the original entry, I didn't take the stop, I mean, then you're going to end up the same. I didn't realize that because I forgot where the original price was, but yeah. I'm just thinking about the fact that I'm down. So sometimes you have to, you look at your P&L and you say I'm down, but you did the right thing. Although I, I wasn't positive I, if I wanted to redo it, but I really do like the gap. It's going to work. And, and also, I'm reading the other people on the side of my trade. I and mean, sometimes when I do this, it's like I talked to you about this on Monday when I said I was in some webinar on Saturday and some guy was talking about not trading the first half hour of the day or whatever the guy was saying. You know, somebody else, people, I know what other day traders are doing with gaps. I know what they're doing. And some days I stay away from them knowing that that the institute that I'm not crazy about the gap it doesn't rate well and I know institution you know institutions aren't going to sell it through on the day and that day traders will buy it but I didn't think that about this today I did not I didn't think that about this today at all and it did rate good enough which helped me too but I did was aware of the fact that day traders love to buy anything the gaps to support for gap fills and that is not a strategy that consistently works, but it did prevent us from having a hard sell-off into the morning, which we normally like to do and normally like to get. It did have a sell-off in the first five minutes of the day, but it wasn't big enough for me to get out. And also, I didn't get the first fill. Not that it matters, but the original stop placement held. Even with the people trying to buy it and lift it up, the resistance held. Here it goes. It's going to work. Once it breaks 40, it should collapse. This looks great. But you can't lower the stop, and I wouldn't do it now. And if you're back in this, then you believe in it, and you follow it through. Let's look at the market. Oh, market's red. Wow, look at this target. That's just incredible. This is a slow move down. What were the other ones today? TMHC. This had a small, small move in it. I didn't rate this, but I saw it. Didn't put it in the room. Here, Nike. Wow. Okay, so did anyone actually lose in this, not retaken, and stop today with a loss? Which if you did, that was okay. Everyone has to have rules.
Pyro didn't retake it. I would like to know what the heck they're doing upstairs. <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous. We just gotta wait now. Gallant says the market's going lower. I, I, I really don't know. You know, I, I gotta be honest today, I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see where we close today. I'm not gonna make that prediction. I don't feel confident that it that it does anything right today. Not much of a read in the gap. Here, Nike. <laughs> Man, this was a lot harder than I ever thought it would be. Alpha saying the futures are going lower, okay. Well, what you could have do, Journey Woman, and I'm just talking now, it's too late. But when I retook the trade and it had a second setup and your price was in the 30s or high 20s, you could have shorted more. You could have taken a bigger position in the 70s and kept the stop at 55.10 and taken the same risk. Do you understand? That you could have done. I know you never did the entries class, but that's what you could have done in here, Nike. And then you would then you would have been up more money in here. And that's probably what I would have done if I'd stayed with the trade, but I didn't hear Nike. This is skilled trading today. Oh, here it goes. Looks like everyone redid it by Pyro. Nike! Under the low. There, here it goes. 54. I think it breaks that too. Let's just look. Yeah, I, I don't really think the market goes anywhere. Wow. This was so hard. Who would have thought? This just supports everything I already know about the way that most day traders play gaps, which is incorrect. I'm so lucky I know how to do this. Here, Nike. Here it goes. Wait, just let it push through the low with a nice fat red bar. We should have three reds. We have one red, we have a two, we need a third. Three reds in the 15 minute. Let's see if we can get it. And it's just starting now. Here, Nike. Oh, Gator got out. He can't take it anymore. <laughs> That's okay. But it's, there's no reason to here. <laughs> it looks like it's going to break the low. Here, Nike. Came and do got out too, you chickens. Here, Nike. Gator, are you supposed to be an alligator? You're supposed to go after something with a, with a vengeance. <laughs> I would like to know what they are doing upstairs. It sounds like they are. They are they are they are scrubbing the apartment down with a with a <laughs> high powered scrub thing. Nike here. Oh. Am I really answering that? I didn't bring the low yet. Yeah, twenty three. I think I was. Shower singer saying the 200 day moving average is 54.23 and he's nervous. You could take half out. I could go up there and see what they're doing. 
But then I'd probably get into a shouting match with them because I'm annoyed about the noise. It wouldn't go well. It would be confrontational. <laughs> I've had enough confrontation today with playing Nike. I don't need any more. <laughs> Here, Nike. Think of the money. Think of the money for what? Nike or what? You don't have to do this. You could get you could have get out there, it bounced and it held, but I'm gonna stay with it. I mean, obviously I'm still in it. I think this breaks the low. So I'm gonna give this one more leg down. You don't have to do that. You could have gotten out there and made money on the day. I'm trying to hold it a little bit longer. This wasn't some crazy bounce. I think it breaks. I think that people took some profits at the first target, which some of you did but this isn't what I call some, this isn't buying. I'm gonna give it one more push. Ten nineteen. Well, at this point, the stop's over the high, and that's not going to fail. So with a stop at 55.10 and a confirmed you know, flip here in this Nike, it's not going to go above that today. So am I going to be in this a little bit longer than I normally am in trades? Yes. One reason is I did a retake, and sometimes you have to wait for the push down. So here, I think we get it, people. You had to catch the phone. You're blasting it out with profit. I hope I make a good profit. Good call, but a tough ride. Yes, it was. All right, so if you wanted to get out there, you can. Here, let me quick look and see what we have for tonight. I'm just going to look and see what we have for tonight because I'm staying with this. But if you wanted to get out there, you could. Uh, what is tomorrow? Thursday? Or Friday? No, Thursday. Tonight's Wednesday. Hold on. Five tonight, tomorrow. Yeah, this is going to break the low, people. Wow, this is so hard today. The five tonight and tomorrow. CAG. So what I want to see happen here is I want to see this completely sandwiched like a cheese and two pieces of bread, this bar here. We're going to find out on the five minute. It's not going to go over the high of the day now. It's a tough ride though. Gator was right. If this breaks 54, though, it could go to some really insane number. Let's look at the five. This is tonight. A little thin today, but this is definitely a watch. Ten twenty two, ten twenty two, ten twenty two. 
Who's still in it? <laughs> Alf is saying the futures are bouncing a bit. Okay. He's giving us a minute by minute play. The stress is over now. The stress was that would it hold, and then it didn't, and then then would it set up again, and then it did, and then you know it's gonna, and then you're back in. So then the question becomes, are you gonna play it on out? Then you just decide that you're trading longer, which I don't normally do, but I think today it'll be, it'll be worth it in this. And I may be in this through past the point I close off the room. I do believe it breaks the low, but I have no idea what time now, and that's the that's the issue about doing retakes. When you get back into something, and this did set up before 10 o'clock, you don't know how long it'll take to go. It could be 12 o'clock noon. But I think it's worth it in this case, but you very well could have gotten out there. The stop was 35 cents. In fact, let's just go over it. <coughs> so if you took the stop, which was a big stop originally, or this one here would have been if I had called it, which I didn't do it, and I didn't even have time to call it. Anyways, big stop, big stop, boom. This is why your risk has to be the same. Sets up again, stop is much smaller, 35 cents. False, 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 does not break the low. Gets very, very close, okay? Almost a 50 cent move, could have got out in this with profit. Not quite one R, but covered the loss and almost one R profit, you could have called it a day. What I'm looking for to happen here is for it to break the low and fall and collapse. But now, the later it gets, the longer in the trade, I don't think this goes over the high of the day no matter what. So, you know, we're in it to see. But it's pushing back. I'm trying to be patient. I think today it will be worth it. I believe this is short covering, not buying. Stop hasn't changed. It's 55.10. It's over the high. If you want to change a stop, you should have gotten out. Should have got out in the 20s. If you're nervous or think it's going to bounce back too much, you should have gotten out at 54.20. I can't lower the stop. And I really should have put the stop at the right place this morning, but I was, I, I wanted it to hold that number. I wanted it to hold it. I should have known, though, the way that that these things act, that it was going to push back. But it, honestly, the where, where it opened, it looked like it was just going to collapse. And that has happened many times before, but it didn't today. And the market really didn't fall. I mean, with the fall, the sell-off that we had yesterday, I guess the market is going to just take it easy today. But it could have, it could have fallen more today. The market could have had another red bar today, a big red bar today. It's not, but it could have. I mean, the Qs could come all the way in now at 128. It's not, but they could. Does anyone want to go over anything or have any questions whatsoever? And I, I pretty much told you what I'm doing with this now. I'm going to hold it all the way down and see if it breaks. Breaks the low of the day and collapses, but it may not be till 12 o'clock. I do not think this goes over the high of the day. If you wanted to get out, if you had places to go, if you had things to do, you're out. You're out at the low and it didn't break, which it didn't. It retested in here 54.23, retested in here 54.25, and it did not break that. Can you look at TIFF from a few days ago? You're out of it, but you have been watching. It was a long idea. I never made an official call on it, but let me look at it. Sure. I do have trials in here, Journey Woman, but you absolutely got some of those points wrong. And, and you redid the class that one that one time, like, was it January, December? And I thought you were good to go. And you still have to go over it. Um, this TIFF, did it go to 95? Yes. I never called an official trade in it, but it did hit the target. So I don't know what you want me to say here, love to trade gaps. I know you're a student, but 
I didn't call an official trade in this. It it went there. It went there, but you've got to, you know, you look at the market here now, you know, look at the way the market fell, you know, is this going to keep going immediately? I mean, I didn't call an option in this because I couldn't see when it would hit a number for the timing, so I didn't, I didn't call an option in it. Is it higher? Yes. Is it going to go to a certain number for a certain time? I don't know. What was the target originally? 95. Did it get there? Yes. It got there one day after I said it. So, you know, it hit the target. It is higher. I did not call an option trade in it. I couldn't figure out what the next number would be based on the timing with the market to, to make an accurate time decision. And if you want to get back in TIFF, I mean, uh, Nike, I'm sorry, as a short here, you could, have, you, could, you could do this in the five minute. You could do this in the five minute, but the stop still has to be 55.10. 55.10 is a stop. In fact, let's see where it pushed back. Beautiful. So love to trade gaps. If you went long tip and hit the target, you would have been out. If you want to reshort Nike, 55, 54.55 is the second re-entry, but the stop would still have to be 55.10. Still better than the first um, entry, or the second entry, I mean, the second one that I did. Um, Nike, what you can scroll back up, Nike rated 20 points, right there. That's why I didn't understand why Galahad took more risk in this. This wasn't like 23 or 24, but I felt very good about it dropping today, which it did. I was going to call something in cost. It's good I didn't because of the market. Here, let me look at that too. Yep. And Facebook probably pulled in too. So I don't know where we go, nor do I care. If the market wants to fall for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, great. It means we'll just get bigger move in the shorts and it's not a busy time, which I said. I think that's the other reason I went back after that today. No, this isn't ready again yet. The, the other reason I'm, I'm sticking this through and went back after this today is because there's really, this is not a busy, busy week of earnings. I mean, there were two things today. How did this fare out? It did end up having a small, small move, but I think Nike has the potential for a big move, but you're taking a chance when you hold something down and, you, and you're ready up money and it's been a hard morning and it, and it has been tough and it was hard to do. But I don't think it goes over the high of the day. I don't think it goes over the stop. I don't even think it goes over where we took it. But we were a profit down in there. If you didn't get out, you're holding it through for a bigger move and you're taking the chance. If you've got things to do and you have to leave, then you take it out and you get on with your day. I'm going to be around here this afternoon, so I can stick with it. It's rare that I would trade late, but I think it's worth it. I don't know what we get tomorrow. I don't, I don't know what we get Friday. I told you yesterday we're going to be very, very careful with the things that we do. At least in the next two weeks till the beginning of April. The big move comes when it breaks the low and it hasn't done it yet. Let's look at the 30. Look how hard this was. You can see it. Drop, bounce, boom. Drop, bounce, boom. It's going to work. It is working. We're out, but I want to get the flush. Let me just find something. Where was this? This area is more of a problem than this. So this area is more of a situation than the low. We keep retesting it. It's where we open. 
It's where we opened, where we flipped over, where we took the entry, where we got back in, where we just rallied up now. This area here is more problematic than this. So here we are again, back at that number or close to it. So we want to see this now get through at least half this bar. 54.72, let's be very exact. 54.25, so halfway through would be under 54.50. Then we will be cutting through half this green bar rally. I'm still not going to lower the stop. It's also the trigger in the five minute. We've already triggered and held in the one and the two. Does anyone want me to look at anything else while we're here waiting for this to go? I mean, I'm up in it, but I want it to break the low. Kept the stop the same. Took a loss in the first trade. I don't know how this plays out, but I'm, I'm wanting more. <clears throat> and you know, it's rare you can get a 35 cent stop in, in a stock like this. So we did as good of a job as we could have. Does anyone want me to look at any other charts love to trade when i mean look at tiff there's nothing to do there i don't have a read in the market right now we're still in an uptrend i think that it wasn't it was a it was the first sign of bearishness i've seen in the market in a very long time to gap up yesterday fail and fall hard in the day besides the length of the bar we gapped up and failed does it mean that we're going to break the trend or that we did break the trend no but it was a sign of bearishness even on a daily bar that we haven't seen for a very long time in the market so will the market pull in consecutive days based on that trading action yesterday? It could. I don't know. Anybody have anything else they want me to go over? Who's all still in it? Let's take a poll. Big Fudge is still in it. Galahad still in it. Dubai's is still in it. Journey Woman's still in it. Who else? I could have stayed in the one yesterday. And actually, if I had lowered the stop to break even and not gotten out, I wouldn't have lost and it would have went to the dream target. I didn't. And I could have. So, you know, trying to give us a chance today. Did the market help that go? Yes. But we don't have the market against us today here. And here are the five minutes trying to trigger again. This is trying to pull on top of it. This 20 pair moving average is trying to squeeze on top of this guy. Shower Singer still in it. Cayman Dude still in it. Love to trade gaps is still in it. Anna still in it. Chinchilla still in it. Cayman Dude still in it. interest here. OHTZ, I forgot to look at that one. HTZ. I forgot to even look at this. This did end up falling yesterday. What a waste of a of an earnings. I mean, it, it just opened flat and fell. HTZ fell yesterday, followed through. Hmm, forgot about that. Uh, Journey Woman took more. Where? You see the power struggle on this on the on this stock here today. The stock opened, dropped, went red, flipped, went green, looked like it was going to rally, held the resistance at 55, fell, fell back right down to the low, retested it, held, bounced, did not break. We reshorted it back down again at the high. Then it fell. Then it bounced at the low at the 200 pair moving average at the number. Now it's rallied up again. Do you see how the stock is fighting against itself? 
if you constantly, constantly, constantly are just trading on a miniature time frame on a one minute chart, it's very hard to read who's in control of the stock. You will go long something, you will short something, you will go long something, you will short something, and you'll end up losing, and you will never have conviction in either directional bias. You have conviction in one directional bias in Nike. It's a short, and I've done two trades in it today. I'm still in the second one, and we should have kept the stop at 55.10 for the first one, and I would have never gotten taken out. But the bottom line is you've got to hold the conviction with what you're doing and have a consistent way to look at it, and it's based on the gap and who's in control, and to me it's the shorts but it is struggling with itself right now because traders love to buy these support areas, but they don't control stocks, institutions do. And the volume in this that held it down, that created the gap, that made the gap, I believe that it's lower. I could have gotten out of the low there and I didn't. Now it's back up again. And I could be in this till two o'clock. I'm not keeping the room open till two, but I'm just letting you know. It's rare that I would hold something and really, really stick onto it, but I think it's worth it because we don't have a lot of things to look at right now. And I missed out on a bigger move in something yesterday. If I had been able to predict the market would fall like it did, I would have stayed with it. But I really thought the market was going to hold. It's the other reason I got out of that quickly. I, I don't think we have the market against us today in this. Journeywoman got more, and it pushed her price now up to 54.48. Got it. Stop still 55.10. Although everyone will have a chance to add more back in here if they want to. It's back up back up again does anyone have any questions about anything you want to go over the class is this weekend if you want to sign up if you're here in a trial if you want to retake it email me password doesn't get set out for the retakes until Friday so donut trading I did get your email koala bear you might want to think about redoing the class I haven't caught any options in here since Target. No, I, or was it Google last one? I don't remember. I don't remember the last one I called, but I, I was off last week and I, I, I didn't see anything in here this week to do. I mean, I was wondering maybe about FDX. I was wondering maybe about cost. I don't, there's, I don't see anything. I could have called Target a second time. Target's going to $50, but I mean, it's really hard to predict the time of this now. I mean, every day it keeps dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. It's really, a QCOM again. I mean, I could have called a second trade in that. Hard to believe. Is it the swoosh class? There's only one class, the Golden Gap class, which, yes, we review the swoosh. QCOM's trying to make the move down, fell finally yesterday. Interesting. Let's look at the 30 minute. Let's look at the 60 minute. This is funny because this goes, well not funny, but it's interesting, it's worth noting, like the whole conversation I had had with Galahad when he was here about options, but we're related now to day trading, specifically today because of this, um, the options is different though because you, you do have such strict timing for them, but we have timing with the day trades because we still have to get out before four. It's chance if you hold something the longer. You never know. I'm definitely taking chance in this today. And it's, it's, a, it's an unknown if it's going to pay off or not. Whenever you're out money in something and you don't get out and you have profit in the day or profit in the option, you're taking chance to get it to a bigger number. Some days I do and some days I don't. Yesterday I didn't take the chance. I thought I had the market against me. I didn't think it would go to the dream target. Today I'm taking the chance. 
Now here I am. You're ready to get in? Rumi, I don't know how many times you've played this. I'm so confused. Have you traded this three or four times today? I thought you were back in it. I'm so confused what you did. I, mean, I don't know what you're doing. Are, if you, either you're getting in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out every time it sets up and drops or I don't know. Oh, you've, you played it three times now. Okay, now that makes sense. Okay, have a good day. Oh, look at this. So you can redo it on the 15 minute if you really want to. So crazy. I'm not going to take any more. It has pushed back up past my price. You could pull your price up. I am not going to take any more. But it, it, it looks like it's going to set up again on the 15 minute. And the 5 minute again, which has not set up yet. Remember I said in here, but it never triggered, never triggered, never triggered, never triggered, never triggered. And you see how this is pulling on top of itself. Chief, just email me. So one way to do it is what Rumi did. Rumi got in and out real quick in the first five minutes. And then Rumi took it again and got out. Where I retook it, but then he got out down here at the low. Now Rumi's saying he's going to take it again. I guess he's going to take it again here or wait for the five minute or whatever. Stop. It's 55.10 no matter what, even if you reshort it in here. But it hasn't really officially triggered again on the 5 or the 15 minute. I never thought this would be an all morning play here, an all day play though. really didn't. If I had gotten out, I wouldn't have gotten back in because would, I would have been taking a trade late as a new, new trade, and I don't like to trade new trades at 1045. So following something through this late is not normal for me, but I prefer that rather than getting out and taking a brand new trade at, at 1045, especially if I had a hard morning, which today was. So to take a loss and then to flip it around and be up in the day, I would never enter a new trade then at 11 o'clock. Let's look at the 30 minute. Any questions from anyone? No, I don't have much more to go over here. I have no idea what time this goes and breaks to low. I said noon earlier. Um, but it looks great. Does anyone want to go over it? Does any, everyone know what they're doing with it? Stop still 55.10. Target's still the same as always, 54. But the low of the day is 54.20 something, and I believe if it breaks that, it could collapse. You can't move the stop, and as you see, if you put it break even, you would have been stopped out. And we really should have had it at 55.10 from the beginning, from the morning. I don't know what we get tomorrow. The five was the only watch tonight. We'll be stuffed tomorrow morning though. Any questions from anyone? Yeah, I still like it. I, I, I'd still like it or I wouldn't be in it. but it is definitely taking a long time. Here it goes. Let's look at the market. Market's making an attempt to hold, I just don't, really think it, it has a big move now today because of yesterday's move and it is late.
No matter what, whenever I'm done with this, I'll do a video and put it on YouTube today or send out an email because I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's just an unknown, like I said. It's chance if you hold something and you're up money. And I did that today in this, and I don't do it all the time, but I feel like it's going to work. I think if it would have failed, uh, then it would have failed already. But it's completely rallied back through our price here again. So definitely annoying. Here's the five minute triggering again, under 75. You can take more, but it's not gonna pull your price up unless you st we're still renting it from the 30s. Should be nice to get an easy day tomorrow. <laughs> Does anyone wanna go over anything? If not, I'm gonna close out the room and you're gonna stick through this yourself. Stops 55.10 and I'm playing it out. If it breaks the low, I'm to hold it to the target. I like the gap. Does anyone want to go over anything? No one's writing anything? If not, I'll just see everybody tomorrow. Anna, are you still in it? Tough, but good call is right. Tough, tough, tough. I'm taking a chance here. I, I think it's going to pay off. If I didn't, I would have gotten out of it. See if I made the right decision. I said noon. And that's probably going to be it. Because look, it's 1049. It's not near the low. It's probably going to take between now and 12 o'clock to go down there. So I said noon. I said it's probably going to be in this till noon. I was till 12 o'clock. And it's going to stay with it. Okay. So again, just to confirm, stops 55.10, you can retake it under 75 as a new train. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to do. <sighs> All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing. I'm going to close out the room. Good luck. It's working. I'll do a review later. Hard today. I think it's going to pay off. Okie doke. Rumi's back in it for like the 20th time. All right, good luck, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.